wrist arthroscopy. We're inside the radiocarpal joint. You see the scaphoid to the right, that's the bone. And then the area I'm probing, you can barely see it. It's the ligament between the scaphoid and the lunate. Now you can see I'm pushing it in. It's lax. It's supposed to be tight. You shouldn't hardly even be able to see it. Here, uh, down to the bottom left, you can see the triangular fiber cartilage, and there's a hole in it. It's been torn. And I'm probing that. And I'm Looking under it, you can see the ulnar bone. Underneath it, you should not be able to see that. It should not have a hole in it. I'm going to go to over the other side of the triangular fiber cartilage. Some inflammation there, and I can get my probe under and lift up just like that. See, it's not attached to the ulna, which is uh, why this patient has instability of the joint that the triangular fiber cartilage is supposed to stabilize. Now I'm uh, I debrided some loose edges with the motorized shaver. Now I'm debriding inflammation caused by the triangular fiber cartilage tear. And now we're in the mid-carpal joint. This is a different part of the wrist. And you can see I get the probe in between the scapegoat and the lunate. The ligament was lax earlier. And you can see these two bones are moving uh, separately. It shouldn't be like that. They should be fairly tightly coapted. You shouldn't be able to put a probe in there and spin it like I'm able to do now. This is grade three instability. You can see I'm pulling the lunate away from the scaphoid. By contrast, here's the lunar triquetral articulation. I, I can't get the probe in there. And the bones are not moving separately. Again, this is viewing from a different portal. Here's the scaphoid and the lunate. I can get the probe and move it aside and separate these bones. And there you can see the lunate being moved to the left uh, away from the uh, scaphoid to the right. Again, in contrast, although there's a step off which is uh, normal, you can't force entry. The joint is locked down and tight. And that's a good joint. All done.